Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. And today we're gonna to do a quick video on how to do digital signage with a micro PC. You might have seen one of our other signage videos where we use Raspberry Pi, uh, using a software called Pi Signage, or using a USB stick to put signage in an office. While those are great options, one of our biggest fears is that we leave a, a device on a network that doesn't receive updates and isn't managed. And so over time, there could be a vulnerability in that software. A hacker would be able to attack and exploit a vulnerability. One of the advantages of Windows is that we're able to manage that like we would manage any other Windows PC in any environment. Another advantage of Windows is that we're able to run pretty much any protocol. If something changes or we want to run something that has an application or run something that will not run on either a USB stick natively or run on Pi signage, we're able to run pretty much anything in a Windows environment. Environment. If you have to get into a program or particular program to get output for a, let's say a dashboard or you have to run a particular application, Windows really gives you the flexibility to run everything. Another nice thing about Windows is accessing the desktop is super easy, just like any other uh, Windows PC. So let's get into what I chose and why I chose it to run a couple of 4K displays in our office. The PC that I chose is the Melee Quieter 2. I chose one that has the Celeron J4125 processor. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte internal hard drive. It also has an M.2 slot, so if you wanted to add a faster internal drive, you could, it also has a micro SD slot, so if you wanted to add, let's say a terabyte or two of storage on it, you could. My goals for it are to be able to future-proof it. I want it to be able to run Windows 11 in the future. It does come with Windows 10 Pro. I also wanted it to be as inexpensive as possible, so I did not opt for the 256 gigabyte internal option. We really don't have a lot of storage needs here, and if I do need to store anything long-term, I will get a micro SD card to put in it. The machine itself has two HDMI outputs, which is perfect for us. We're gonna run two displays for it, and you're gonna see us mount that and install it. It's got gigabit ethernet. It has DC power, which is USB-C. It comes with the adapter in the kit, so you don't have to buy an adapter for power. It also comes with a VESA mounting block, which you can mount to the back of the TV. It also has four USB-C connections. Comes with a Kingston lock if you wanted to lock it down. It has headphones out if you needed that as well. One of the other selling factors for us was that there, it is fanless. It is an environment where I probably could have a fan, but it is nice to have something that is completely silent. Many uh, places where you are going to want signage, you are going to want it to be silent. I don't think there's any problem with heat with this particular model. So with that, we'll probably get right into mounting it. I'll show you how we're going to mount it physically. And then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and set it up. I'll show you how we set up our dashboards and then we'll come back and we'll do a final review of it. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can pick one up if you're looking for it. All right, so you can see that Daniel was able to run the HDMI cable between the two TVs and able to mount the PC behind the TV. Now that the TVs are up and on, we've got a, a basic configuration. I went ahead and just installed Windows and I have it joined to our network. I'm using our connecting software to be able to log into the PC, but you could use anything out there. You go to my PC, log me in, uh, RDP, whatever uh, flavor of connectivity that you wanted to do to connect to the PC. I'm logged in right now. You can see the two screens are up. I've got it stretched out so that you can see the two TVs as they look outside. This is basically what they would look like when you remote into them. For us, we use just a couple of really easy uh, applications that we put on the TVs. We actually have four TVs. One of them does our camera system, our Unify Protect system. One of them we display our core value winner. We have seven core values and each week we vote on a core value winner. Their picture goes up. Another one we have our dashboard from our management software. And then the fourth one is a super secret project that I have coming out in the next couple of weeks and I'll show you what happens on the fourth one. For now, these two TVs uh, run two things. They run a PowerPoint of uh, our core value uh, winner and they run a dashboard from a program called BrightGage that uh, many managed service providers use. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click on here 
and I'm gonna show you, basically all I've got installed here is I've, I'm in Chrome. This is the first time this computer's been on. Chrome probably needs to be updated. I can see the update in the corner. I'm running basically two programs here. Uh, quickly, I logged into BrightGage. This is our BrightGage dashboard. This is a proprietary software that logs into our, our computers and, and uh, runs a bunch of different gauges for us. And on the other one, I run, I'm running PowerPoint. This is Donovan, who won our core value uh, at some point in the past, and I just uh, grabbed uh, one of his winning slides, and I would put this in the slideshow, and when that goes to the slideshow, this will go black, but I'll just go ahead and minimize that. And this is the way the two TVs will run most of the time. The dashboard auto-generates, so I don't have to do anything there. And next week when somebody else wins, we'll log in and we'll put in the new winner. That's as simple as what we do here. But what's awesome about this setup is I really can run anything. If I wanted to run, instead of BrightGage, if I wanted to run ConnectWise or, or a, a program that we had a dashboard built into, I could do that. If I wanted to put an Excel spreadsheet up, I could do that. And the biggest thing for us, as I said before, is that we are able to run our regular suite of security. So all of these computers have Huntress and Sentinel One and all the stuff that we put on our computers. So I'm not concerned that this sits behind a TV for five years and never gets an update and never is looked at. And it's a vulnerability inside of our network. This is on our managing platform. It gets reported on. If there's anything out of state, our, our company knows that, that something's wrong with it and they'll fix it. So that's a big advantage for us for me over using like a Raspberry Pi or a stick or a, another third type of program. For $259, I'm getting two of these TVs displayed to. I pretty much control whatever I want to them. And that's really probably a pretty fair price for what I've got here. Also at the $259 price point, this is pretty future-proof. This computer probably is gonna run through Windows 11's life cycle. For us, that's probably five, six, seven years. Let me know what you think about it. Put your comments down below. As always, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of this content. I will let you know we are gonna do a couple of more display videos. I think we have two more display videos coming in the, in the not too distant future. So hold on for those and uh, they'll be coming soon. And for now, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.